So Ross, the Peas Reserves played Peterborough United at the Hyatt this afternoon. How did they get on and talk us through the game? Um, the game was fantastic in terms of our development again. Uh, we won 3-2. Um, but the highlight of the day was the, the performance of, as a team. Um, the units of midfield, defence and, and the forwards. Um, you know, it was the same that the attack starts from the goalie and the defence starts from the centre forwards. And that was evident today. I thought we thoroughly deserved our 3-2 our win. Um, played some extra stuff in the second half. The pressure we put them under again, like we've seen in recent weeks against Reading and QPR. You know, how we press from the front, how we keep the, the, the ball in their half. Um, when, we, when we retain it, what do we do with it? Um, and the variation we play. I think it's, uh, it was fantastic and it was really, really deserved from the players. What were the main main sort of positives? I mean, obviously Matt Stevens got a hat trick, but Ma Matt will get the plaudits, and you know very much so the goals he's taken. Uh, he scored today. You know, he's a perfect hat trick, right foot, left foot, and a header. Um, but for me, you know, these under twenty one players who are stepping up to be with the first team and, um, and aspire to be in the first team, they they're starting to realise now about the development side of things where it's about team. You know, they're not so much the individual now. How it's They've been coached through through the age groups in academy football or grassroots where we pick some up from uh, as late developers. It's about a team, a team work ethic now. And when you get on the ball and out of possession, what you do with it and how you know you're there for one target and that is on a Saturday afternoon to win three points. Um, and how you do that is working as one and working as one players. And for me, that really struck me today. You know how they're going to work for each other, dig in. Um, win tackles, win headers, once they get the ball, use your teammate, four runs, link up play, punish the, punish the team in the box. So, you know, all around aspect and holistic of the game, uh, approach to the game today was, uh, was, was really, really pleasing. So were there any players that stood out for you? Was it really for me, it's always the team now, because uh, like I said, you know, where they want to be, it is, you know, I'm a team player. And there will be certain moments of indiv individual brilliance, don't get me wrong with that. Um, but, you know, the main, the main, Ethic is is how can I be as a, as a, as a team player to, to help my other team players around me. What what areas are you still looking for development players to improve upon? Uh, well, individually, there's there's loads. Uh, you know, I have certain review meetings with the players and what they can do and what they should do more. Um, tactically, for us as a, as a team, it's about you know how we press on the front, the triggers we use. Um, so if my centre forward goes and presses one centre back. Where should my high right midfielder be? Um, how close should my my centre midfielders be to, to the opposition? And where my back four is, you know. And this is one thing we don't always get to work on as a level eleven in training. But there's certain things how you can break down your transitions to adapt this and and to develop this better. Finally, a number of development squad players have been out on loan recently. Can you provide an update about how they're getting on? Yeah, uh, you had Justin and Charlie Kendi at uh, Hazen Yellen. Um, have really really good feedback so far uh, from from the manager there. Um, I know that they've done well in the last few games they've played. Um, they also play in Oxford City on Saturday uh, at home. Uh, Wesley from Gook still were hindered, and I watched him play on Saturday, and he had a very very good game. Um, and then Joe Gay is doing well with Cheshire and see twice last week. Um, and you know feedback from from their managers and how they're well doing as 18 year olds. Is, uh, is really, really positive. And uh, it's a massive, massive uh, education for them of men's football. Uh, for someone like Joe playing in the Southern Prem, it's a physical league. Uh, for Wesley to play in the Ryman Prem, you know, being 18 year old and, and trying to dominate in the field is excellent. Uh, and, you know, for Charlie and Justin to go to Conference South and they're making a step up, um, that's huge for them. Um, and how they deal with that is. It's, it's, it's down to them, but you know we monitor it very, very well. And you know when I go and watch them, I'll uh, after the game I'll, I'll speak to them. And we give them points there. But um, you know Harry Taylor will be going back to Hamilton Rich on loan for a month, and we'll also be sending Ryan Gondo to Staines for a month as well. Both both with really cool options. Um, both done tremendous here. Um, again, we want to further uh, with, with the adult game. Thanks, Ross. All right.